Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. There's the sun, looking pretty good. So I'm out for a walk by the water today. It's a little river here. It's getting on towards fall and the leaves are changing color. It's pretty quiet right now though. Nice days, balmy days, very nice. So, uh, today it seems like some very heavy energies are clearing. I won't go into the details in, because they change from time to night, time. Various heavy things start clearing from Earth. And this has to do with the increasing light, as you most likely know. So, um, as the light increases, the, the, the f subtleness of the resonance of everything on Earth improves. And, and uh, resonances that are no longer high enough for the incoming light, they're just, they're just leaving. And uh, we humans, we're particularly capable of being aware of this, these, these changes that are occurring. So I'm very aware of that today. Although the upset is not mine, there's upset with lots of other folks on Earth. And, and that has to do with not being neutral about the release of energies. Because after all, it's just electromagnetic forces, you know, changing. The mix of electromagnetic forces on Earth changing. So the thing to do, I feel, when I feel these, these heavy energies um, boiling up, in the newosphere, preparatory to departing, like like when you you boil water, you heat up water for tea, right? And uh, the water gets hotter and hotter, and it's like after a while it starts moving around like this, in the in the pot, right? And then it reaches a point where the water turns to vapor, and the vapor escapes from the pot. It's a process like that. So while the water is 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 rolling up like that. There's a lot of turmoil going on in people's emotional bodies and subconscious minds. And the vo those of us that are uh, clairaudient notice that as sound, and those that are clairvoyant, or so I hear, because I'm not very clairvoyant, only on special occasions. Anyway, those gifted with, with clairvoyance see all kinds of like heavy, heavy enactments of the drama of duality, right? So <laughs> the thing to do is just inner, be in our hearts, right? Know that, 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 the, that God is neutral to all this, and we can be as close as possible, as humanly possible through our hearts to neutral to all this energy, to allow it to go without interacting with our own electromagnetic field. So I'm sitting here, there's a bench here, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a nice bench by a bend in the river. The river is very placid and wide here. There's a beautiful pine tree up above. And so I'm sitting here and inviting in the presence of Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Lord Metatron. Those are the ones I'm thinking of right now. And my own highest self, my own being of light. And I feel actually a wound in my neck here, a wound of uh, like a knife wound that's actually, it's, it's a degradation of the, the level of light. Um, this is a physical wound that I sustained in a prior incarnation. And uh, my cells are holding the memory of this wound and uh, there's so many layers to the clearing that's going on. This is just one layer that's coming up, one um, memory. Uh, some call it a soul fragment that's, that's coming into awareness. And some call it the, the, the lost children of the soul. Very dramatic. It's as if we're We've stored some memories in a time loop in our etheric net that were just too painful to process at the time. 
And in this case, it's from a prior lifetime and it's carried forward in the blueprint of my soul. And uh, right now it's clearing, so that's a good thing. But on the other hand, it's rather a, um, it's a time-consuming process quite frequently to go through. So we just have to sit patiently with it. At least I do. <laughs> so that's that part. And, and my plan is for, um, for my own being of light to heal this wounding and this, this cellular trauma and this memory. And uh, slowly but surely what's happening is, while I've, well what was happening just a minute ago as I was doing this, is the level of, of clairaudient clamor went down, things started to settle down in my own emotional body, and the pain started to go away. And, I, and so, so that's my process, just thought you might like to know, because it, it may come up with regard to other heavy processes as time goes on. And uh, if I think of anything better about it, I'll let you know in the future. I'm wishing you a day of wonderful clearing and great love and joy. And so, signing off until next time. Y'all take care. I think this is called bridal wreath. <laughs>